So here's my um, desk setup and what I tend to do is that if I need the, the monitor, I always sort of like drag it next to the laptop. But what happens then is that these wires here are moving against the wall and over time it will leave like a mark on the wall like this. And I was trying a couple of different techniques to cover the wires so that they wouldn't leave a mark, but that didn't really work out. So what I'm thinking that really needs actually a hole in the desk. So when I'm finished working with the monitor, I usually push it back against the wall like this. And it'll probably look the best if the hole is in the middle of the desk. And just to note, this desk, I've had it for quite a while. It's just a cheap one from Ikea. Obviously, I wouldn't recommend doing this if you live in a furnished flat, for example. So this is only if you own your desk, basically. I got this tool from eBay. It's basically like a hand drill. I think it was called something like Auger Drill or Boschcraft Drill, whatever that means. But yeah, it came in this kind of a little pouch and then this kind of like a um, protective sleeve this and then put this in and then you just need to like get a stick or something to be able to turn it and I'm gonna see if I'm just gonna be able to use wooden spatula for this so see how that goes so I've already made this marking here on the desk but what I did first I measured the halfway point which in this case is 60 centimeters. This is like 120 centimeter wide desk. So I've measured the halfway point of the desk and then the drill is supposed to be one inch diameter. What I thought was the best is to mention how far away it is in inches. The edge is one inch away. So I measured like one and a half inch point and you will have like a one inch space from the edge, which is about 2.54 centimeters. That looks kind of okay. So now we'll just see if this actually works. Before we start, I've just taped it back underneath. So hopefully this won't be too messy. Okay, so wish me luck. like this beginning is maybe best to just do it without the stick or spatula. Okay, so now I've got kind of like the screw bit in of the drill, so wish me luck. sure if the spatula is working and it's maybe be something a little bit smaller. I've got a brush here. I think you do need to press down with quite a force. Oops. Yay! It worked. At least, kind of. I think it'll do. I know they say you shouldn't make holes to these kind of tables. And as you can see, there's just um, this, what is it, like an NDF board on top, and then it's hollow inside. I think the backing board is actually something even cheaper material, so I think that hole doesn't look so good. But it's underneath the desk. Underneath. That doesn't look so good. Because this is just kind of like a similar, maybe something that you have on the back of a wardrobe. Now the plan is that I'm just going to sand this a little bit and then fill it with wood filler 
or all purpose filler, or I might need to just use like an insulation tape. We'll see. Here's how it looks now. So I ended up just using the all purpose filler and it actually took a quite a bit of the filling. And I ended up just kind of pressing with my finger on the edges as you couldn't really use any tool in this point. And as it's hollow inside, I just kind of pressed as much filling as I needed to until it kind of formed the edge. And I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of days to dry now and see if it needs painted or something after. So I think this turned out actually pretty okay. It's been overnight, but it's not been 24 hours yet. So I think I'm just gonna wait another day and then I'm thinking I'll maybe try to varnish this with a um, clear varnish, just because it's gonna have a, quite a lot of movement because of the wires going through. So hopefully that would make it a little bit more durable. And underneath it still kind of looks like a mess, but it looks maybe a little bit better. Okay, so I was really happy about the result here, but I was just really stupid about this because I didn't actually think about getting the wire through the hole. So obviously the, the wire is fine, but I also need to get one of the, the black ends through it. So this is not going to fit. And it's not a huge difference. The widest part is about two and a half centimeters, whereas this is two centimeters. But then you also need to kind of have space for the thickness to go through as well. So, so it's really gonna ruin this sleek design, but I'm just gonna do another hole maybe overlapping this a little bit so like this is about one centimeter thick so i just need to make sure that when i overlap them is that it'll stay one centimeter thick at least so that i can get it through like this this is two centimeter diameter so i make the other one so that it like overlap so the middle point of it is one centimeter away from the edge of the other. And hopefully that will work out. Obviously, I don't think it'll be as neat as this one, but wish me luck. Okay, so I've made another hole and this kind of looks okay now, I think. So I think it's gonna be fine. Um, it's not as good as just one circle. And I've tested this already, but the blood will go, go through it now, so it should be fine this time. And what I ended up doing here actually with this one, it kind of started to look like it's, it was not gonna be enough of a, like a hole between, because this needed to be like more than one centimeter. So I just eyeballed it and just like brought the center point a little bit more towards this one. It's not going to be like a perfect measuring and geometry here now because if you remember this was actually in the middle midpoint of the whole table width so yeah not anymore. So now we're really midpoint being here we are really one centimeter skewed from the middle of the table but I don't think it'll be noticeable in the end really. If it works for the wires it's good enough for me so i'm just gonna now fill this side as well with the all-purpose filler and varnish a bit clear varnish okay so we got there in the end after a few trials and errors and it doesn't look too bad actually and what i actually ended up doing this time is that i filled it with i fill i fill it in i filled it in with um What I ended up doing this time is that I filled it in with all-purpose filler 
then painted it white and put a clear varnish on top. So I think it's much more durable this time and kind of looks a little bit better when it's painted white as well. And finally, I can actually fit this through just fine. So yeah, that should be perfect. I think I'll do like a one more clip just to report afterwards after I've actually used it when I use the computer. So let's see if it actually kind of works in practice as well. And here's just the final report to say this all works really well so i'm really happy with it and as you would think this wire now moves more easily than when it's just like between the wall and table so it's easier to move the monitor around so yeah all good and this might not be for perfectionists but i'm pretty happy with this after everything and just a final reporting back that we will be a couple of months in and i have to say i'm really happy that i did this it's actually better than i thought my goal was just really to stop the wires making marks on the wall, but because they now move more easily too, I'm extra happy. So I hope this video was helpful for somebody and yeah, see you again next time. Bye.